Hey guys, welcome to Sketch a Day Live. I've had one hell of a day. I think someone just rang my doorbell too. So <laughs> it's been a crazy day, but <clears throat> let's get drawing. Welcome. I'm working on the graphics, changing a few things, trying to clean it up a little bit. All the social stuff's in the lower corner if you're watching on YouTube. If it's your first time on Instagram, definitely hit up youtube.com slash sketchaday.com. I guess I should get a little mirror here of my Instagram. Hello, Svetlana and Art. Welcome. All right, let's get started. Do some drawing. I have no idea what I'm going to do, as always, but Latrice, blessings to you too. Um, no idea what I'm going to do, but just playing around. And I hope we can figure something out. Um, if I don't get any ideas, I'll just, I don't know, do the usual things. Actually, maybe I'll do a vacuum cleaner. I could do some vacuum cleaners. Those will be fun. Um, so like I mentioned yesterday, this week is so busy. Today was the first day of offsite. That's the new design education school that we're launching online. Just uh, a little different take on education, how we learn as designers, connecting students with mentorship, professional help, all that good stuff. So that's with advanced design. Warming up a little bit here with some straight lines. Man, I almost I almost like was like, you know what, I'm not going to stream, but... It actually helps me relax and it's been uh it's been a stressful time so i thought why not after this i've got to finish some writing some lesson planning some more writing communication stuff anyhow busy busy I just got a phone call, but I can't answer it right now. So maybe they'll text me. Anyhow, I think it's my my tree trimmer guys. Also getting my trees trimmed after this crazy storm we had in Utah. There were hurricane force winds knocked out power couldn't do anything for a while so I'll probably keep this tight stream tight short see where I go actually I think I'm gonna come back I will be right back because I gotta talk to these dudes I'll be right back cleaning products yeah we could if you have any other cleaning product ideas okay I'm just gonna throw this uh, bumper on
Sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm back. Whew. Oh, my goodness. What a day. All right, let me set up my Instagram here for whoever is still here. If you're not here, it's all good. Hi. I'm back. Had to talk to those dudes, so thanks for hanging out. If you're still here. All right. So let me finish warming up. And then we'll keep going. All right, we're back. Whew. Whew, whew. What a day. I I need like a 10 hour nap, which I guess is technically sleeping, right? Technically, I think I need to like relax after this, <laughs> after this day, holy cow. Crazy, just crazy. All right, so I got some ellipses, straight lines. Let's just jump right in. Start doing some stuff. I'm using regular printer paper. If you have any requests, Latrice, I will get to your t-shirt stuff soon. Um, my apologies, it's been insane. I've got some exciting news to tell you guys. Wednesday, gave a little uh, preview to the patrons today behind the scenes of what's going on yeah just making some some changes in the studio i like to mix things up where and when i can improve change the lighting a little bit let me know what you guys think camera angle all that stuff audio should be better um improvement that's what life is all about that's what i'm trying to do here so let's go try inside should i do a vacuum or something else you guys give me some ideas give me some ideas if you can so something like a vacuum, I like to start with um, a little bit of a wireframe, something like that. And that just allows me, let me move my iPhone here. Sorry, iPhoneers, this is going to be a little bit weird. Let's see if we can get you a better angle. By iPhoneers, I mean Instagrammers. All right, it's a little bit better. All right, so I might start with some sort of framework like that. All right, where maybe this is our bag. And it really just depends on the type of vacuum. If you want something Dyson-esque, or we could do some big wheels on our vacuum here. All right, maybe something like that for the front. And then for my dust collection, I'm going to just mix it up. Let's add an angle here. Like a so. Maybe another one like so. And we can kind of connect all of this here together. Central section, and then just fan that out. Like so, we've got these nice big wheels. Maybe these are actually like, <laughs> like ball wheels or something kind of ridiculous you'd never be able to fit this under a couch but that's okay it's all good we're just having fun today music provided by paul sohi but paul i'm coming at you i just picked up my mpc one i don't even know what you call it i i i just uh i decided life's short i might as well learn something new I don't have a ton of time, but I figure why not? Why not just try something new and we'll see what happens. All right, maybe a little something like that. I think I'll throw another one on this page too. Little handle here. Dyson versus Kacha. I'm not familiar with the Karcher brand vacuum. Dysons are interesting. I have a few Dysons. Um, they are certainly, uh, what's the word? Distinct in their appearance. Bringing the 
technical pieces to the forefront of the product, essentially making them their own design element. It's a nice treatment of uh, function as an aesthetic, I think. Whether you like Dyson's or not, some people do, some people don't, but it's all good. We all have preferences and that's okay. All right, let's just finish this out. Um, so yeah, I got a, I got a request. Um, I think it was in comments or on Instagram. Someone sent me a message for like doing some, yeah, maybe this, maybe this extends up so you can adjust the height or something. Um, but wanted like more old school tutorials that I used to do. The problem is I would like take a long time, produce them. I like hanging out with you guys, but then no one would like watch them. So I'm like, why am I, not that it's for the views, but it certainly helps um, when people actually watch the stuff you're making. <laughs> and I don't mean from a self-esteem perspective or anything, just the economics of doing all this it certainly helps when when you guys tune into YouTube, it helps. Um, I should mention as well, I am turning some of my sticker designs into shirts. I actually don't make anything on those really. I think I make like five bucks if I sell a shirt, full transparency. So it's just more like, hey, if, if that's something you like or you've wanted, that will be available soon. I believe one of them's available now. If you want to try that out. So sketch a day live once again. I am Spencer. Today is September 14th. I think it's my old business partner's birthday and I forgot to tell them happy birthday, but September 14th, my dad's birthday is coming up. He will be 81 years old this year crazy right so my father will be 81 toys like what kind of toy are you thinking hopefully something appropriate the animals I didn't get Inception either. Just kidding. Great movie. What is your favorite Christopher Nolan movie? How's that for a question? Let's continue. I, I feel like I've sketched this vacuum like a million times in my life, but they're fun. <laughs> they're fun. Wooden toys. Yeah, I could do some toys. Like a toy car. This angle is so off and weird. But that's that's part of the design process is like, I think anyways. Iterating, trying different things, seeing how they look. If it works, great. If it doesn't, too bad. At least you just did it on paper, you know. So yeah, it's been, it's been an intense few days, people. It's been crazy, just crazy. All right, we're gonna do some wooden toys next. I guess I'd have to think of what wooden toys. Are you talking like an abacus, toy car, toy airplane? dollhouse what are we looking at what are we looking at here this is a paper made flare by the way if you're interested you can find my stuff there at my website all right these feel a little bit short um, so if I were to scan these in I would probably um, just stretch and modify them just a little bit but 
proportionally just a little short. So maybe I'll do one more and then we'll do the the wooden toys. Just get one that's a little bit better proportionally. And I like this like mega vacuum, so let's do do a bigger mega vacuum here. Or better, I should say. We kind of had these big ball wheels. All right, and then this one had that canister. It was kind of tilted forward, and then we had the uh, arm here off. Like so, maybe some cable management stuff happening there. Down the back. And we'll do those little Dyson-esque tubes. Who knows, maybe this is where the filter comes out. So one thing I don't like about Dysons is you have to um, you have to essentially take the base apart to get this like filter element out. So I wonder if I can modify this. Yeah, I think I can modify the sketch so it feels more like some sort of filter here. All right, so that would come out. Inception is pretty good. Hello, Momink. Have you guys seen Memento? It's a, that was the first Christopher Nolan movie I had seen. Um, I didn't even know it was Christopher Nolan. I just liked the movie at the time, back in the day. Is it Memento or Momento? I think it's Memento. Um, but that was the first one I saw back in the day. Pretty crazy movie. <laughs> Pretty crazy. Yeah, this needs to be shortened up. It feels too long. So the advantage of using lighter lines as well when you're sketching is I can always increase the line weight. and get that emphasis or focus back on where it needs to be. So in this case, was able to correct a mistake and with a little clever shadowing and whatnot, we can kind of cover that up, so. Super handy. Someone was asking, how do I get my stuff looking even? Practice, but my stuff is not always even or perfect. In fact, most of the time when I'm finished with the stream, I'm like, oh, I missed that, or oh, I missed this. So I appreciate the, the thoughts, but yeah, far from, far from perfect here. Sketch Day Live, thank you. A stegosaurus? Okay. Like a wooden stegosaurus or what? Svetlana and Art are suggesting a stegosaurus. That would be that'd be an interesting challenge. Challenge accepted. Challenge freaking accepted. Svetlana and Art always have interesting idea suggestions. I am curious, um, Svetlana and Art, how did you find the channel? I know you're not, well, I don't know, because I have a terrible memory, but I'm pretty sure you're not industrial designers, so how did you find it, discover? Um, 
They are some of our patrons. Special shout out as always to the patrons. Um, but yeah, definitely check out the store. There will be some updates coming soon. Coming soon there, new stuff. Shirts, like I said. And I'm streaming even though I shouldn't be right now because I have like real work to do. Work, work. Not that this isn't real work, but I have like work, work. So it's going to be a long night, no doubt. I already feel less stressed now that I'm sketching. Every damn day, that's what we do. Okay, Svetlana and Art say, oh, smiley face stegosaurus. Yeah, I'll do a stegosaurus. I'll throw some color on this in the meantime while you respond to me about how you found the channel here. Because I am curious. I probably should get some new chart packs as well. Because all I have is green, yellow, or blue. And I think I'm going to go with yellow for this vacuum, which I guess is maybe Dyson yellow, if I kind of hit this the right way. All right, maybe something like that. Yellow trim on the wheel. And we could do yellow on the body here. Reviews for, oh, okay, okay, cool. It's on my to-do list to do more reviews like that. So I'm glad you found those. How are you liking your iPads, by the way? I think that video is the most watched video I have. <laughs> I think I should see, I should see how many views it has now. Um, I think it, it has to be, it has to be in like the millions at this point. Let's see. All right, let's see, let's see. Show all. If you're joining on the Instagram and you want to participate in a chat, YouTube is a place to be. It's where you gotta go. It's just hard to, it's hard to manage both. It's really hard to manage both, so. Uh, let's see. Okay, that video That video has, where can I see this? This where it has, it has to be a ton. Um, huh. Why can't I just see the views? That's weird. Hmm. Hold please, this will be worth it. This will be worth it. Okay, I'll find it later. I want you guys to sit here listening to the ramblings of this old man trying to find his old iPad video. Anyway, I'm pretty sure it's over a million, but for that one video, which is kind of cool. It was really just a fluke. It was when the iPad Pro first came out. And I was like, let me just buy all these things and do a review, and I did, and people loved it. So that was kind of fortuitous for me. And then I went into the corporate design world and got busy and neglected my channel for a long time. So now I'm now I'm paying my dues, working our way back. All right, so there's our quick vacuum cleaner sketch. I'm just going to sign that. I'll upload these, of course, to the Patreon folder. Let's do a Stegosaurus. I'll use this scrap to start. I am gonna have to pull up reference, though. 
Did they did they have feathers? Does anyone know? I mean, dinosaurs had feathers, but do people say dinosaurs have feathers? Oh, that's cool. You guys work in game development. That's awesome. Now, I have an idea in my head of what a stegosaurus might look like. All right. So, I'm going to we're going to rough it out, of course. When in doubt, rough it out. As you know, um, sometimes too, depending on perspective, I like to map things out in a box just to kind of set the perspective. So if that's the view, I want to sketch my, for you Instagrammers, if I want to sketch it in that view or something like this, you know, it kind of helps to kind of position things. So should we do a top down stegosaurus of some sort? All right, so this is going to be my my frame, at least starting for my Stegosaurus here. Three point perspective, one, two, three. Now looking at the body of this beast, looks like it has kind of a central mass. Let's find the midpoint here, somewhere here. Um, but it looks like there's kind of a, a central mass, like from the side, Stegosaurus kind of looks like the the hind legs are a little bit higher for some reason. All right, so looking at looking at something like this, and it's got the big big things on the back tail, head. You said Stegosaurus, not Triceratops, right? Looks almost like a chicken. Um, so let's go ahead and see if I can do this. I'm gonna just draw a couple shapes here to see if I can kind of eke out some sort of profile and then the head of course being closer to us i mean maybe we'll turn the head this way i'll turn the head this way right so this is going to be pointing down that's the neck and then back all right so we can kind of do something like this for that neck nice little dip all right and then we've got musculature that I am not familiar with <laughs> up front um, there's a there's a designer artist I had the fortune of meeting her um, a while back her name is Terrell Whit Whitlatch Terrell Whitlatch so if you're interested in um, musculature of creatures and the sort she's a fantastic fantastic resource so check her out Terrell Whitlatch. Let me see if I can find her website here for you because I love you. I love you all. Um, oh, she even has a Wikipedia page. Look at that. Terrell Whitlatch. Um, so yeah, I had, the, I had the fortune of meeting her a long time ago. Hello, Cesar. Hola, buenas noches. Soy gran seguidor de Sketch Day, pero me gustaría encontrar más información para estudiantes que empiezan desde solo encuentro los videos de practica de óvalos y otro. Oh, um, he says, good night. <clears throat> He's been a big follower of Sketch a Day. He likes, he would like more information about studying what to begin after, what, what to begin, or what I did after Solo Encuentros videos. Huh, like what to study next? Is that what you're saying? Something like that. I can speak a little bit of Spanish or listen, or sorry, understand, not listen, understand a little bit of Spanish, but it's hard sometimes for me. I'm going to get a little bit bigger piece of paper here. Which I will regret because <sighs> scanning is so hard, but guess what? Actually, you won't be able to guess. I bought this thing from Ikea that helps me organize my papers. Thank you, Ryan. Um, helps me organize my papers, so super excited about that. All right, so I think this will work. I was just anticipating putting these, um, I don't even know what you call them. What do you call them? These like things, fins? Anticipating putting those on the Stegosaurus and so how are these even arranged? See, I don't even, oh, okay. They're like in sequence, but overlapping a bit. 
All right, so we'll probably have, did they go down to the head? Yes, we'll have some on the head here. I don't even know what the head looks like. So I'll just put this, this rough shape in. All right, so again, when in doubt, rough it out. You can always bring out details with a heavier marker. What do their feet look like? Okay, little muscle things. Got some little, little toes here. Yeah, I think that'll work. Um, and as far as the tail goes, I'm trying to decide. Looks like it sticks out quite a bit. But as I want to keep this guy compact on my page, I'm trying to decide on a direction for this tail. That that feels okay. And then the leg here, I'm gonna make it feel more like it's trying to stabilize itself in the way it's standing. So something like that. It needs more mass. So I'm gonna shave some off right there and then create more mass in the back. And Again, just use, I'm just going to use these photos for reference on the musculature of this creature because I don't know if you didn't know this, but I am not a paleon paleontologist by any means. I'm not a paleontologist, it turns out. See, I don't even know what the mouth of this thing looks like. So Sketch Day Live, by the way, thanks for joining. Hope you like the new video frame, a little more lightweight, so you can see more of the drawing action, hopefully. There we go. I also added this over shoulder shot again, um, if you want to see how I'm actually drawing, if this is helpful, you know, drawing with my elbow and all that. Still working on it, so I need to do some color balancing and whatnot as well. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, you're not watching on <laughs> YouTube, I'm guessing. All right, what does this say? Gracias por asistir. Es la primera vez. Veo un live de sketch. Bocetos. Oh, thank you. Gracias, Aaron. Cesar, soy gran amigo. Les, un saludo. Saludo también. Mucho, muchas gracias para mirando. <laughs> Information for beginners. He wants tips, videos. Ah, okay. Thank you, Cami. Thank you. I do have a playlist. Maybe you can translate this for me. <laughs> Let's see here. I really need to have a keyboard shortcut for this playlist. I have keyboard shortcuts for a lot of things, but not to this playlist. Oops, copy link. That's what I want. I'm gonna copy this link and share it with you. Thank you for hanging out with me. All right, I'm like nervous to do this stegosaurus face or mouth. So I'm gonna just rough in some shape here and then start to get the neck in. Get some key lines in for the body, All right? We don't need the whole body shape there. What do I do with this leg again? But I want this leg to feel like it's, you know, back a little bit. And then this one here, and then I'll have this other leg slightly visible. And then now we can do our little spine things, whatever those are called. Get our tail in place. So at this point, I'm not looking at the reference per se. I will look at reference for a couple areas here um, on my Stegosaurus where I'm not entirely sure what's happening, but I want this guy to feel fat, right? I want him to feel nice and fat, round in the back. But it's challenging because it's going back in perspective. You can kind of see how we've been working with this and so on, all right? So let's keep going. Thanks for hanging out again, as always. Oh, they have two rows of thingies. Okay, so they have two rows. They have two rows of these, these thingies. 
All right. So let's kind of get this rough shape in. Because again, we can always use line weight to our advantage to kind of figure this out. What's up, Rodrigo? Why are you not on my YouTube? Rodrigo, I will say hi to just because he's cool. Not that everyone else isn't cool, but he has, you've been following me for what, 10 years now? Seven? Something like that. See, that feels weird now. I'm gonna have to use markers to help me out. Okay. Anyhow. Yeah, Rodrigo's been following for a while. And like I said, I don't know if these things had feathers or not. Because remember, dinosaurs have feathers, apparently. Right. 2014. That's six years, dude. It's a long time. That's a long... I was gonna say something inappropriate, but that's a long time. Let's keep it keep it PG for the kiddos. So Rodrigo started following me a long time ago, and if you guys check him out, I don't have your, let me see if I can share his Insta. Actually, if you just go to my Instagram and search for Rodrigo, R-O-D-R-I-G-O, -O, um, you'll find him. But yeah, he's been, he's been at it for a long time, and he's like better than me now, it's crazy. Yeah, esta lo maestro. O es. <laughs> I better stop speaking Spanish before I embarrass myself anymore. And uh, before Cammy has to correct me again. Welcome as it is. All right, this is a really weird Stegosaurus, but we'll keep it. We'll keep it going. What objects do I find challenging to draw? Right now, people. People are my my forever challenge in life. I think I can I think I can fix this guy though. I think I can I'm gonna put some vegetation around our little friend. I don't know what to call him, but Wrong camera. Zoom in for the YouTubers. I need to figure out the right camera position here or a better way to do this just because it's difficult for the Instagram and YouTube thing at the same time. And if you guys could see, if you could see like from here above, <laughs> patrons have seen it, but if you could see it, you'd be like, holy crap, that's a lot of wires above your head. Um, but that's the way to go, at least for me. All right, let's play some other music. Cami said, I said my, my Spanish well enough to not be too offensive, so that's good. I'm just throwing some vegetation in here for a little stegosaurus, give it some context. Maybe some rocks. And since it's kind of a top-down view, maybe having some, some rocks above as well. Maybe it got stuck 
there's a predator approaching or something. Kind of frame out the scene. So I'm going to remove this guy. And then now, I think I can... <laughs> Gebre, you're out of control. Um, <laughs> I think I can... <laughs> Oh my goodness. I think I could add some marker here now. And uh, maybe shade this shade this in a little bit. I'm gonna have to use, oh, I can use my Ohuhu markers. Ohuhu. How do we even know they were green? Do we even know that they were green or greenish? Does anyone know what is real? Does anyone even know? Okay. Um, trying to mimic. So now I'm now I am looking at some reference because again I don't know what these things look like. Nothing wrong with reference when you need it. And that's not to say I'm copying like exactly what's happening. Just. Need to figure out how to create a pattern on the skin here. Sorry about the wooden toys. I don't think I'm gonna have time. This Stegosaurus is taking a minute, or will take a minute. I don't think I've sketched a dinosaur on the stream. Svetlana and Art always have like fantastic ideas, so. Much appreciated. The challenge, as always. But yeah, I think after the stream, I'm gonna hang out with my kiddos, feed them some food, <laughs> set them up, and I'm gonna have some me time. And I'm going to try and make some music tonight. That's what I'm gonna do with my new MPC. Make, maybe I'll make a beat and then debut it on the stream or something. Maybe that's what I'll do. Gabriel, you wild man. Maybe one day we'll meet up in real life. As long as you promise not to end me and turn me into a skin suit. Just kidding. All right, let's see here. Let's see. I need to put some brown in here too. Okay, once I get the color pattern down, I think I'll be okay. Like I just need to, actually, um, Terrell, uh, artist I was telling you about she does these creatures and she'll use she'll use marker to illustrate them digital too but she's like an incredible uh, marker artist worth checking out so if you like marker check out Terrell Witch Whitlatch not Witchlatch Whitlatch she has her own Wikipedia article. I don't even have a Wikipedia article. You know? I feel like if you get a Wikipedia article, you probably made it. So I got a ways to go. Maybe I'll be eulogized on Wikipedia. Who knows? When that time comes. A time that inevitably faces all of us. All right, got a little fins in here. Um, some line weight should help this out. Um, I need a, I need like a, a base green here. Maybe I'll use this barium yellow. Yeah, this feels nice. Something that's light. Yeah, this feels good. And then I can layer, add some green on top. Actually, I should have used the Annecy color. Oh well. Live and learn. Ada BG, thank you. You're very kind. I've never met you, but you're very kind.
Oh, good grief. But yeah, like I said, it's going to be a hell of a week, man. I haven't been this, like, nervous and, like, out of sorts in a long time. These colors are way too saturated, but... Um, usually when I have to give presentations and such, I'm totally fine, but... I've been a little nervous, admittedly. All right, Stegosaurus leg. I'm gonna go shadow on that. I'll have to get some gray in here. Maybe I'll use the BFM, the big fat marker. Ada BG says, can I just say I love you? I love you too. I am using Ohuhu markers, Ohuhu. You can find all that information on my website about those markers. There's the link. Great way to support what I'm doing, by the way. All right, let's keep working on our dinosaur here. So the, the, the thing that took me years to learn with sketching and drawing is <laughs> you, you can't expect to sit down and get it perfect the first time. Um, sometimes you do, like if you draw certain things a lot, um, you can kind of get in a groove and you kind of know exactly what to do. That's where I need to get with drawing people, for example. But if we are gentle on ourselves, you'll realize that it just takes time. It takes time to learn things for our brains to, you know, make those important connections with our muscles. Happy little Stegosaurus fins. It's a sketch day with Black Ross on the ones and twos. Would you want me to live stream making music? I'm curious. <laughs> or learning to make music. You can just like watch me hack at it. Um, what's this? Carolyn is asking, why am I nervous? Hello, Alexander. Um, I'm nervous because I'm teaching something I haven't taught before. Not that I don't know the subject matter, but again, once when you're in a groove, it's a lot easier to just like, you just do it with your eyes closed. So it'll be fine. It'll be totally fine, but it's just a little, just a little nerve wracking. All right, there's a lot of texture on this beast. <laughs> there's a lot of freaking texture. So this might take some time, hence I don't think I'll have time to do these wooden toys. Um, at least not today, maybe tomorrow. And I think I will stream earlier tomorrow. I like this, this tune. Do, do. So I'm just using a warm gray to kind of tone out some of this beast bit here got some some nice wrinkles and you always want to work lights until you get it right new sticker coming soon by the way <laughs> oh hey Alex why'd you change your account did you end up in a in, uh, YouTube jail or something? Thank you, Lorix, Sophia. Okay, fine. I'll pay attention to, to Instagram as well. I'll say hi to you, Yahoos. Because you hung out so long. What are we, 52 minutes in? So yeah, do you guys like the new frame? Um, those watching on YouTube? Is that better? I feel like the other one was kind of static. I keep hearing tree limbs fall outside and I'm like nervous. I'm like traumatized from my windstorm. But they're just cutting trees right now. <laughs> Had to pay some guys to do it, so. <laughs> oh no, Alex, that's the worst. That is the worst. You prefer Alex or Alexander? And it's Alexander, right? So sketch a day live. 
It is not liquid Friday because it's not Friday, but it might be about to be a liquid evening at the rate this day is going. Alex, okay. Alex it is. A bit of texture here on our little finny fins. It's been a long time. I'm good. I am good. I mean, a lot's happened, but I'm good. Truth be told, I probably should have done a few stegosauruses before committing to the final stego here. But, uh, it's all good. all good I made my future version on Instagram oh that was facetune app I think so on Instagram I changed my icon or my avatar to uh, the future version of myself the old version of myself so now some government in the world has my face on their records because I use that app I'm just kidding that's what some people think who knows and remember contrast is your friend so don't be afraid to punch it up if you need to make things pop This is a warm gray. No one said anything about my video frame. Let me know what you think. I'm curious. Let me look back here. Maybe you already did. Uh, yeah, no one really cares. Okay, cool. I like it. It's a little bit better. Do, 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 do. All right, I'm going to map out a quick shadow here for our Stegosaurus. be on the ground I mean truth be told if this were in an actual environment the shadow would not necessarily be this dark but I'm kind of going for the punch and contrast here You may notice as I'm doing this, I'm backing off the edge of the sketch just ever so uh, subtly here. And that's just gonna help our little stegosaurus pop. And then I can use this marker as well to kind of pull in or pull out rather any details that I want. Add some texture dots. Clean up enhanced shadow. Because again, contrast is your friend. You love that contrast. You love it good. It'll take care of you. So 
So I, I told my kids I was streaming, and I was like, okay, I'm going on YouTube. I usually go in there at school during the day. I'm like, I'm going on YouTube. It's like, oh, can we play a game? Can we play? I'm like, sure. The funny thing is, when they are, and they also read every day. That's their daily assignment from me. So they read every day. When they read every day, oh my goodness, so many complaints. Do we? Have, how long do we have to read? Oh my goodness. I have not heard a peep out of these these dudes in the last hour. It's crazy. But I get it. I was a kid once. It's funny how, I don't know how many of you have kids, but I'm trying to like do things differently. But also, I know what it's like to be a kid. I don't know, it's a weird feeling, sensation thing to be a parent, honestly. And uh, <laughs> not feel like a complete hypocrite. <laughs> When you're like trying to correct some behavior that you totally did as a kid, you know, it's uh, it's an interesting, interesting calling in life, certainly. All right, we're almost done here with our little dino, and like I said, I'm gonna vignette this a little bit. Let's get some texture on this dude. How many people are watching on Instagram? Two? We got five people. Ooh. Five people. So introducing some shadow on the back of the head here, which will help this read a little bit better. So think about your lighting, where you put things. Um, ultimately, it'll just help whatever it is you're drawing read better. All right, I need to get the tail, which apparently has some some weaponous time things here. Rodrigo says he doesn't know my YouTube. You lie! You sit on a throne of lies. But it's okay. I forgive you. Just this once, though. You've joined my YouTube before. Thank you, Moisten Design. Moist. You're so moist, Moisten. So moist. Moisten. All right, now let's do some of them trees or whatever vegetation in the background. Nice, nice and shadow. Uh, let me think about this. Oh, that's right. I want to go shadow on the bottom of whatever's happening here. Just kind of frame this out. Oh, you don't know why you're in. Uh, it's all right, dude. I usually ignore the Instagram chat, but fortunately for you, you showed up. So I was like, okay, since it's Rodrigo, I'll say hi. Since it's you, I'll say hi. So 
So I'm just kind of framing in some rocks here. Again, maybe this thing is like trapped in some little valley or something. So I just want to capture a little bit of that. This is way too yellow. You cut it out. Alexon Alex, sorry, says he saw a video today called Waste Equals Food. Um, we can talk offline about me and design sometime. If you want to, hit me up on the Discord, Alex. Yeah, design design is a tricky profession, um, particularly product design. As we create more and more stuff. There's so many designers out there. It's kind of nuts. You know, where are they all going? Ah, the front here is like killing me. So I'm gonna try something. Hopefully I don't ruin my dinosaur. But if I did, he lived a good life. He had a good 40 minute existence. And we can, we can celebrate, celebrate his life as a sacrifice to the visual gods. Now I just wanted to introduce some shadow here. Right, so if my light's coming down, right, I just want to make sure I have some shadow to help with the roundness. So that's that's where like knowing some real anatomy, not anatomy, anatomy would come in handy. Whereas I don't know the anatomy of a dinosaur. So anthropologists everywhere are cringing right now at the sketch. Archaeologists, I mean. But it's okay. What books do you assign to read? Um, I don't assign anything specific, Svetlana, but my nine-year-old is reading um, above his age. And since discovering video games, he's kind of been a little distracted. So I'm a little sad about that. I am a little sad about that, but um, it'll be fine. All right, so I just have this Copic marker here I'm gonna use for some of these rocks. Just nice, nice big flat wide Copic. If we wanna and some rocks or some elements in the background. And in the ground, we can kind of shade in as well. Probably just, I want like a nice pale, pale green or something um, for the ground, but the ground's gonna need some texture as well, right? So this is the foreground. We're gonna have to have, you know, if it's grass or whatever is here since we're kind of looking down at the scene a little bit. Thanks for hanging out with me. Like I said, today was kind of kind of rough. It's been busy. So this helps me feel good drawing. Like I said before, I think with a little bit more work, um, a little bit more work, maybe another overlay or two, this would really pop. There's a question here, what do I think about turning the page? I usually turn the page, but if people are watching me sketch, then um, I think subconsciously I try to keep it somewhat stable. 
But nothing wrong with turning a page. Work smarter, not harder. You know. Work smarter, not harder. To sketch today live, thanks for joining. We are doing a Stegosaurus scene, as requested by um, Svetlana and Art. I'm not sure which of them requested it, but just a little, little Stego, Stegosaurus. He's kind of hanging out. He was just he was just enjoying some grub, and then some little dinosaur pulled up, and he's like, "Hey, wait a minute, what's going on?" He's like, "He, she, they." I wonder if dinosaurs were theys back in the day. Maybe. <laughs> Probably, biologically speaking. Hmm. All right. Man, I don't want to do any more of this. <laughs> Let's grab the finisher. If I can find it. It got away from me last time. Oh no, I can't find it. Because I was going to make like a cool sound effect. Finish him. And then bring out the big fat marker. But I can't find it right now. Oh, there it is. Finish him. <laughs> What's up? Roshan, the master of sketching, has joined us. Um, so legend has it Roshan has a time machine that he has set up, built, stocked, and placed in his domicile. His dwelling, his place of residence. And that is how Roshan is able to do so much in a 24 hour period. Yes. Well, I haven't played more the new ones. I used to play when I was younger. But uh, when, you, when you feel like making a contribution to humanity and sharing your secret time machine, we would all appreciate it, Roshan. I'm just saying. So, feel free to feel free to help us all out by sharing that, okay? When you when you get a chance, <laughs> it's a pill-shaped time. Of course it is. How else are you gonna put your 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 body in there? It has to be pill-shaped. Brian says, "Can I message you after the stream? Something I want to discuss regarding my passion for cars." Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Um, are you going to hit me up on Instagram or Discord or where are you going to be, Brian? Share the story of the idea in Discord. Okay. Sounds good. You can hit me up in the Patreon channel on Discord, Svetlana and Art. Legendary. Um, and I know times are tough for everyone. I get it. Situations change, but I do appreciate the support on Patreon. We're making changes, making moves, making waves. Things will get better here. So um, appreciate it. Much love to you. We're going to wrap up in a little bit. Yeah, I've never done a stegosaurus in my life. So <laughs> like even as a kid, I never sketched stegosauri. Is that the, the plural? Stegosauri? Put some texture on these leaves because they're a little closer to us, the viewer, than the others. Just a little, little texture here. I wish I had a paler green. I'd probably do in my Copics, but I don't want to use my Copics. Um, so here's a little technique for you. Sometimes you can take um, 
your marker and just lay down the color first and then add the texture, kind of like I am on the far side of this dinosaur's head. So don't be afraid to experiment, play around, see what you can come up with, right, as you're working. Light, dark, right? This should be a little darker here. I should probably work on this or could rather, but you know. I don't know what's in the background. I'm just throwing some shapes, shapes in here. Maybe there's a, maybe there's a brontosaurus. Is that, is a brontosaurus real? I forget. Maybe there's one of those other ones in the background. Who knows? Some birds. Did they have birds back then? Or was it just pterodactyls? that then became, no, they, they wouldn't have had birds because the dinosaurs are the birds' ancestors, right? This is actually outside Roshan's home, um, you know, millions of years ago or however long they were alive. This is how the terrain used to look. <laughs> Roshan's asking, I wonder if there's an industrial designer who would have sketched the vast amount of diverse subjects over the last century. Oh, thank you. That's very sweet. Thank you, thank you. I'm just having time. <laughs> Second roller runner up is Troll Ross. Should I make a Troll Ross sticker? I troll Roshan online a lot because we love each other. He's cool. If you ever need uh, 3D rendering inspiration, design inspiration, human inspiration, and perspiration. Check out Roshan, super talented. I've shared his link before on the stream, but just uh, look up that screen name you see there. You'll find him on Instagram. Super inspiring dude. All right, so that is my Stegosaurus I spent way too much time on. <laughs> Stegosaurus scene. And there's a lot more I could do to this. Um, but it would be a fun one to scan in and turn into something. So, like I said, I'm going to take a picture of this one probably. Post it on the uh, Google Drive for patrons. So you will have a high resolution copy of this. Um... Oh, sorry, your geese. I missed your, your missed your comment. Better to message me on the YouTube, but any tips on giving depth within the color as I would, as in you would add layers of clear coat on the tug part. Um, just work lightest lights to darkest darks, and that should, that should get you pretty close. Meaning work light, use the lightest markers you have first, and then when you're ready, start adding those values. Um, if you go really, really dark, marker ink is translucent, meaning light will pass through it. Even the light on your paper, so the light will hit the paper, reflect back out. So if you want to go darker than this, you have to break out the paints, paint markers, um, things that are opaque, pastel, all that stuff layered on top, and then you will have a better um, bit of contrast. Okay. That's all I'm going to do today on this guy. It was fun. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'll do another one. Not right now. But again, as I was doing this, you know, just remember, here's our rough sketch. <laughs> okay. Um, when in doubt, rough it out. If you don't know where things are going, just rough out your first idea. Don't be afraid to do that. We also did these vacuum cleaners. What a weird show. We did vacuum cleaners and then a stegosaurus. So <laughs> there you go. All right, guys, much love to you. Thanks as always for hanging out and being a part of the show. Check out the links that have been floating through on the stream. We have Instagram, sketchaday.com, Twitter, daily sketches, or patreon.com slash sketchaday. Great way to support. Um, but of course, being here is a great support as well. Tell your mama, your kids, your wife, your sister, everyone about Sketch A Day. I'll be back tomorrow, probably earlier, definitely earlier. So take care. Thanks for hanging. And I will see you next time as I look away at my screen. <laughs> Peace and love to you all. Take care.